Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Yev. If you're in a hunt for the good mechanical gaming keyword but still in a budget price, this video will be real well for you. I have spent a lot of time of researching and in preparation to this video, so I really appreciate your like, subscribe and comment under this video. I just discovered the new updated version of the Royal Clutch RK61 gaming mechanical keyboard and this keyboard has some new cool features that you will really love, I'm sure. One of the most exciting things about this keyboard is that now it's compatible with QMK and VIA open source driver. So now you don't need to use the RK software, which is not the best, let be fair. And now you can customize it on your Mac or Win via web version of Via, which is cool. However, it was not easy to understand and to find to found a manual how to do this. So I hope this video will help you. Let's dive in. So let's start from the overall. First of all, this RK wired version is a still simple but decent quality keyboard. This version today, what I have, uh, coming with RK Brown tactile switches. Also, this version of keyboard coming um, together with this double shot. I don't know if it's a PBT or ABS keycaps, but they shine through. And you can clearly see the RGB through these legends, which is good. And you, you may see that uh, it's a lot of additional uh, legends on these keycaps, so this is 60% of um, layout, but you can still use all these multimedia keys with function and all of that, right? From the switches point of view, they are not bad, but they are not pre-looped, at least I was not able to find any lubricant on them, but they are kind of, you know, tactile standard switches. And here is the how stock version of this keyboard is sound. Not bad, but not perfect. And this is how the modded version of this keyboard sounds. It is better, right? So let me show you how I did this. So I took this keyboard apart and added some foam to the case. Also, I did apply a painter type mod. Obviously, change the switches. And in this case, I used Gatron Milky Yellow Pro version 2, Reloop mechanical switches, and I changed a keycaps and this time I use XVX PBT great wave of Kanagawa Japanese keycaps and voila okay guys now let's talk about the main feature of this keyboard and of this video how to connect this to the via driver right first of all you need to go to the uh, use via application settings and you need to switch this show design tab this is very important. Step number two, go to design tab and load this RK61 JSON file. And now you can connect your RK61 to the VIA driver. And here we go. Now your keyboard is connected to VIA. And by the way, I'm doing this on my MacBook, so you don't need to do it only on Windows, which is super cool. And now you can do everything. You can change basic stuff, you can do the media, you can do the macros, you can like customize your layers. 
and you can customize your lighting, right? So for example, right now we have this um, Alphas uh, RGB up and running. We can do the solid color, we can do the breathing, we can do whatever we want with this uh, via driver. And you don't need to use RK software, right? You can do it on Windows and Mac and you can do the everything what you want to do and it brings this keyboard to the absolutely new level new level of gaming mechanical keyboards if you want detailed steps i will write a short blog post on my website and i will put all steps what you need to do to do the this modification of this keyboard if you want but also how to connect this keyboard to via driver link will be in the description under this video Okay guys, I hope this video was helpful for you and now you know what to do with this keyboard. If you're looking for the same version of the keyboard but wireless, right? Check this video on my channel with detailed review and modification. Thank you for watching and see you next time.